A Delaware County baby with a rare disease is the first to be successfully treated with personalized gene therapy, according to a landmark study released today. Researchers at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and Penn have been working on this technology for a while, and now it's helping to save a little boy. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl introduces you to this history-making baby. Nine-month-old K.J. Muldoon is the first patient to be treated with a gene editing technology customized for his rare disease. In patients who have urea cycle disorders, they can't break down protein. And unfortunately, what happens is ammonia builds up, and ammonia can be toxic to the brain and cause permanent neurologic damage. Quick action was needed for K.J. His Delaware County parents, Nicole and Kyle Muldoon, had to process a lot fast. Our, our child is sick. We either have to... Give, get a liver transplant or give him this medicine that's never been given to anybody before, right? I mean, what an impossible decision to make. With the team at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and Penn, they decided to try the gene therapy called CRISPR that edits out the original defective DNA, replacing it with the altered, repaired sequence. CRISPR, a gene editor, enters the nucleus of the cell, and in this case, we programmed it to go to the site of the genetic variant that is actually causing the disease in KJ. KJ received the first infusion in February and follow-up doses in March and April, and it's working. This could revolutionize the way we treat rare disorders for patients who have limited or no other options. Doctors say KJ's condition has improved significantly. I just knew he was, he was ready, like he was ready to fight. He's proven us time and time again how stubborn and spunky he really is. And they're looking forward to the family of five being able to take KJ home very soon. The CRISPR gene therapy has been used for other diseases like sickle cell, but this is the first time it's been customized for one patient. I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS News, Philadelphia.